New hope for people seeking treatment for substance abuse and behavioral health. Reporter Jessica Podola has more. The community came together to celebrate the John Kibbola Center, named for the longtime public servant who passed away in 2017. Kivala, who served in the Michigan House of Representatives at the time of his death, and previously as mayor of Marquette, had been open about his struggle with alcoholism. Located off US 41 in Nagani, the John Kivala Center will house Teal Lake Residential, an inpatient treatment program for women with substance abuse disorders, including detoxification services. It will also house Sue B's House, a recovery home for women. Women seeking treatment at the John Kivala Center will be able to have their children stay with them. Kibbola's wife, Sandy Kibbola, said her husband would be proud of this legacy. Just, um, we love and miss him every day. Um, and you can imagine that John Kibbola smile today as the center opens. We live in his motto, always fight the good fight. The opening of this center is a true reflection of those words and all the work that everyone has done to make this happen and the hard work that will be done here by the people seeking treatment. Michigan Senator Ed McBroom spoke on behalf of John Kibbola's character. He had a deep, deep-seated love in his heart for people who had problems, people who had needs. And he would talk frequently about, to me as we drove places, about the constituents that he had stopped in to see. From the John Kibbola Center, I'm Jessica Podola. Back to you, Alexis.